next on Live. And now, here are Kelly Ripa and Ryan Secret. Good morning. Hi, good morning. Hi, good morning. Yes. Here we go. Happy Hub Day. What? <laughs> January 17th. January <laughs> flying by. It's, it's your birthday. What? Happy, Happy birthday. birthday. Okay, Lots all right. It's everybody's right. birthday. <laughs> <laughs> Happy birthday to everyone and to all of you who have a birthday tomorrow. <laughs> And the rest of the year. Happy belated to all of you who had a birthday yesterday. <laughs> Gilman. Yes. I feel like we need to all stop touching each other during cold and flu season. Are we touching each other? Well, when we come out and <laughs> high five everyone. Sure. Yeah. Oh, you this in the part. audience. Yeah. This part. I thought oh. you meant he, he thought no, you were talking about the production. Yeah, well, no. I mean backstage as well. Yes. Yeah. We all need to stop Craziness. touching. Well, are you I'm one of those people now because we've seen the deadly flu in all 50 states. Uh, it's 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 real, but now when people sneeze around me, I give them a bad look. <laughs> I mean, no, I hold my breath for 10 seconds because, as you know, 10 seconds is everything. the time it takes for everything to evaporate. <laughs> I don't think that that's scientifically right. I think you're probably right, but it makes me it makes feel, you feel better. secure. Well, to to the sneezers, cover your hole. You know, cover <laughs> because. Because it, there are people on planes, there are people on, on the street, in restaurants, in booths, in diners across this city, and they're sneezing all over us, and we can't have it. I, I'm fascinated by the amount of people that just let it fly. And they let it fly, and that sneeze, let me tell you something, I saw something on the news the other night, have you seen how far a sneeze flies? 200 it's, feet, right? It's like a winged eagle <laughs> being shot out of your nose. It's, true. it's like, and it goes, they say, 200 feet projectile. Yeah. And so I think it's completely appropriate to give sneezers a very disgusting, nasty look. I do. In public. Well, I passive aggressively, whilst holding my breath, I go. <laughs> <laughs> she turns blue in the face, but she avoids the germs. I do, I do. And there, it's so funny because I'm somebody that when I sneeze, I plug my nose and I go. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Right. I know there's that whole article in the paper. I have it right here about the man that blew out his throat muscle or something. He For holding it, ruptured, you held it in? ruptured his throat by closing his mouth and pinching his nose when he sneezes, which is something I do constantly. That's the only way I sneeze. Well, there, obviously, there's a reason your body is projectiling, so you should let that, holding stress and sneezes in cannot be good for longevity. No, but nobody can ever blame me for catching my sneeze because my sneeze stays within. I mean, one day, when, one day I, it's all gonna when I finally <laughs> blow, it's gonna be She's like, just gonna pop and all. It's gonna be like a volcano. Clouds of germs. My mother, who is watching in Atlanta, by the way, she sent me this, she's a loud sneezer. She oh. sneezes so loud, but this is what she woke up to this morning in the ATL. <gasps> Look at that. What? Now, in Atlanta, when it snows like that, do Panic. people know how to drive? Well, so I no. called her. Are you from Atlanta? Yeah. 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 They're like, no. Right. So you're, the, yeah. air, the airport's having some issues. So she, they made a, a, a plan to have a couple's retreat with their couple friend in Florida. And, so, and they met, a lot of reasons why they bonded, but the guys bonded because my father and this gentleman liked their martini made the same way. So... <laughs> How do they like their martini? Very cold, very dry, with olives. Oh. So they bonded for life, obviously. I should be on this couple's retreat. <laughs> so she says they're going to go to Fort Lauderdale today. And I said, Mom, you should check you know, the news because the airport, I mean, flights, hundreds and hundreds of flights all over uh, the south and the east are, are shut down or delayed. And so she's hoping, she said, well, that's all right. They have an hourly flight. I said, yeah, but... I think that they get stacked up and delayed. Right, they do. So she's hoping to get to Fort Lauderdale at some point today. Good luck, Mother. But she's a loud sneezer. Does it ever, um, does it ever alarm anybody at the airport when you see them de-icing the wings? <laughs> yeah. Right? And then sometimes you wait in the queue so long that they have to 
come back and de-ice again. the wings again, and you go, how do they, how do they know they got it all? <laughs> right? Yeah. I mean, that is the thing that... And who made that? Because it, who knows if that combination of ingredients isn't what's freezing, causing them to come back to have to de-ice again. Just stay home. <laughs> Stay home. Just, just, mom, just stay home. Did you see this? Um, this is it's so. There's this place um, in in Russia that um, it's called the Yakita region. And forgive me if I'm mispronouncing that, but um, uh, one million people live there. It's three, 3,300 miles east of Moscow, and. Um, they're used to, they, students go to school in minus degree temperatures, no big deal, like that's all day long there. But um, they hit a minus 88.6 degrees Fahrenheit on Tuesday. We think we have oh, problems. Oh, gosh. We got no problems here. Check out this young woman's eyelashes. I, we can all agree that's a gorgeous picture. I, and we can all agree that is going to be a fashion trend, yeah. no doubt. That has Instagram written all over it. Um, it's like I want to go to the dry bar and ask for that. I mean, that is everybody's face right now in the Yalkita region of Russia. That is, uh, yeah, that, I mean, we, we moan about the, the cold weather here, but that, I don't even know. That's not safe. That's, that's not safe. Good luck, but not safe. Yeah, I guess this is the thermometer, but I'm not even sure what, I mean, it, that looks like a bull running for shelter, doesn't it? <laughs> it's like, we have to get out of here now. Um, so, anyway, if, if, so if you have a, a picture that can top that, you should send it to us because it's cold. A lot, a lot of freezing people all over the country. It just started to snow as we were coming on the air. Really, yeah. the, the, I was waiting for the pretty snow. You know, they, they were calling for this stuff at like 10 o'clock and then they pushed it back and I woke up last night yeah. Do you check out the window when you My up? kids were throwing ice cubes in the toilet because, as you know, that's the way to make the snow happen and get a snow day. Did you know this? Is that true? That is, is that the official do? law of the land. And for those of you with kids at home, you know, right, you're all, some of you are like, what is she talking about? And some of you are like, that is true. <laughs> so my kids were taking, because it's final, it's a midterm exam week, so nothing better than a snow day during midterm. So they throw right? ice in the toilet? They throw ice they in the toilet the and they put their pajamas on backwards. And, and that's supposed to give them the luck of the storm. That's the luck of the storm. Well, but um, imagine their shock when not only <laughs> were midterms not canceled <laughs> and they have a, a snow day, but now they're going to have delays getting home from school. <laughs> they'll, they'll be there till six o'clock tonight. Yeah, exactly. The snow's not, it's not as pretty when it comes at, at seven, eight, nine in the morning. I was very, I was looking forward to a pretty snow last night about 10. Do you remember I remember a couple of years ago, you weren't here yet. Do you remember a couple of years ago that snowstorm that came out of nowhere and um, and basically they canceled school for like two days the night before. So my kids so not only yeah, knew that the they had win. no school, but it was like they had no school for two days. Right. And I took some of the prettiest pictures. Those were like my prettiest Instagram pictures. People were like, you should be a scenic photographer because <laughs> Central Park was so pretty. And untouched, right? And, and untouched. The blanket, untouched it was, yeah, now. it was really, I had to walk across the park to get my daughter from her, her girlfriend's house because mm -hmm. like, they had um, canceled all um, transportation in the city, like they shut down the city. And it was really nice. And that's, we did the show, we still did the show here, and we were literally doing the show to, it, like, there were three interns and like four guys from the ad sales department in the audience. <laughs> <laughs> I asked that question yeah. actually, I think before I started, I said, well, what do you guys do? Because I hadn't lived in the city for a long period of time. I said, what do you guys do when these big storms come through? But did and your agent lie to you? Of like, course. Oh, yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> He said, you, you won't believe how many storms go through there. They don't do the show. Oh, my yeah. agent told me we had summers off. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not kidding. Do you know what's My funny? agent was like, this is the perfect job for you because you have kids. You get summers off. Yeah. It's like teacher's hours. I was like, oh my gosh, that's amazing. 17 years later, you realized. I was like, you're a liar. <laughs> And, you know, I think we have the same agent because these stories sound like... Mm -hmm. uh, 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 but I warned you. I was like, he's going to tell you this. He's going to yeah, tell you that. Me. He's going to tell you this. But it, None of it is it, true. It's funny because as a kid, and, you know, you, you know this because you have kids, like you were just saying, when you hear that it's coming and you think the next day is going to be full of this, this white blanket of snow on the grass and on the streets, you act as a chemical released inside of your body that makes you think you're not going in anywhere no matter whether you're going to work or school, even right. as an adult. Yeah. 
So I was kind of looking for that last night, but it didn't happen. Yeah, it didn't happen. Yeah. <laughs> it didn't come. My kids, I, I always find fascinating, like, um, they, are, they can be on certain days like dead bodies, raising the dead to get them out of bed to go to school. But if that phone call comes in that there is no school, they are it changed. energized. Oh, yeah. oh. They are wide awake. They are watching the morning broadcast <laughs> to see if their friends' schools are closed. Changed and they're like, And they're like, ordering breakfast like I work at Bob's Big Boy. <laughs> They're like, I'll have Eggs Benedict. I'm like, I'm going to work. Here's your cereal. Bye-bye. Don't forget to walk the dog. Uh, it's amazing how that changes mm -hmm. the, them, doesn't it? They, uh, they, they had this article about the crazy weather terms that we're all experiencing. We talked about the bomb cyclone. Oh, bomb cyclone is my favorite and most terrifying phrase of all Well, time. you may, let me read a couple of these others okay. that may become your new favorite picks. Okay. There's the snow eater, which is the dry winds that blow down uh, the side of the mountain. Okay, lots of snow in, in those winds. And then there's the hoarfrost. This is... <laughs> okay, that's my favorite. Yeah. It's H-O-A-R. It's an old English word describing old or aged looking things. So hoarfrost make things look old by covering them in white hair. I just thought maybe you'd have a new favorite term after I read that. I I mean, there are so many things I want to say right now <laughs> about the old hoarfrost. Um, and the, yeah. polar, the polar vortex, that's the one from, that's passe, isn't it? Oh, polar vortex, please. please. <laughs> We've lived through that. Polar vortex was so 2016. <laughs> um, no, I like, I like hoarfrost. That's my new favorite. I'd never heard that before. You're, uh, well, I not, no, nor had I, but I thought it was something else, uh, which I'll tell you about during commercial break. <laughs> Oh, uh, uh, well, it's snowing outside, and we'll go play in it later. Yeah. Uh, hey, uh, J.K. Simmons is here. Yeah. Yeah. He's great. Have you seen, have you seen that, his new show yet? Yeah. I watched some of the yeah. yeah. So he's coming up in a little bit, and... We feed everyone here like they are a baby koala that we found. <laughs> right? Have you noticed? Like, everybody has, like, give him four grapes and a piece of pineapple, and he'll be happy as a clam. <laughs> um, hey, and what do you do with a pair of socks, a dish towel, paper plates, and a dining room chair, and a couch cushion? What do you, what do you, what do you think yeah. they all have in common? You get in shape with them. That's correct. Yeah. You are going to join us today for a January workout with Good Housekeeping's Megan Murphy. All we need are paper plates, paper towels. I, I actually try, I tried this earlier. I came out and tried it because I wanted to not look as ridiculous as I have in the last January segments. So I tried the paper plates on the floor. It works. It's good for the core. So if you have paper plates, grab them. We can do this together in a little bit. Well, when, when I injured my hip all those years ago and I had to do um, rehab on it for six months, a lot of these exercises are what I had to do. So I'm like, oh, I know these. These are like good for, so if you're rehabbing, these are also good for um, certain Grab your pillows, injuries. grab your plates. It's coming up now. Yeah. It is Snowway. Oh, yeah. Snowway Travel Snow Trivia. Way. Let's do it. Tia, Tia Falconer from Roselle Park, New Jersey. I know a Jersey girl. I know a Jersey girl when I see one. <laughs> right here, right here. Right here, right here. I forgot to throw my balls. Oh my God. <laughs> Oh, Lord. Oh, How can I forget? For so, okay, I'll throw same them. For, same for later. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know why I even try to throw them. I can't, I can't get past the third row. I can't, I can't get to that light there. But we'll, uh, shall we try Susan right now? From yeah, let's try Prescott, her. Prescott, Iowa, to see if Wait, Susan is. Do we have googly eyes? Yeah, googly eyes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> hey. <laughs> That's adorable. It's cute. Yeah, we look like, we look like cupcakes. <laughs> You look like that photo you showed earlier from minus 80 pounds around the eyes. Hello, Susan. Hi. 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 It's Ryan Seacrest and Kelly Ripa. You're live on the air right now. How are you? Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm better now. <laughs> <laughs> 
Hey, Susan, we're looking at this uh, picture of you. Is that recent? You're looking. It looks like you're standing in the midst of a gigantic snow pile. Well, that was back in 2010. That was one of our big snows. And then we haven't we live in the rural area of Iowa, and it sort of piles up on the rural roads. They kind of plow it all. It looks like you're going through a tunnel. Oh. Wow. Well, what's the weather like right now this morning? This morning it's about 2 below, and the wind chill's about maybe 10, 15 below. Wow. Well, a, a days ago it was minus 35 below. So. Gosh. Well, there's a place in um, <laughs> colder. There's a place uh, that's uh, east of Moscow that you should avoid because it's negative 88.6 degrees there. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, you've got a warm front yeah. compared to that. Exactly. Yeah. Shall we? Yeah, we're gonna spin the wheel. Right. So we see if we can bring you some. Let's see. Aha. Uh -huh. uh, the Weston Ka Anopoli uh, Ocean Resort Villas in Maui. Seven... Maui, oh, that would be wonderful. I mean, what It's going to happen. It's you gonna happen. deserve this. It's seven days and six nights in a one bedroom villa. It includes a spa treatment per person and it's valued at $10,400. Wow. So big one. Susan, uh, yeah. you have 20 seconds. You have one guess. Do not screw this up. Oh, I'm going to try not to. Okay. Okay. On yesterday's show, we talked with Matt Zucri. What did Matt say was written on the mug that his mother bought for herself? Team Logan. You're yes! going to Maui. Congratulations, you and a guest will enjoy seven days and six nights at the Western Kaanapali Ocean Resort and Villa in Hawaii. Located on 26 Ocean Five Acres in North Kaanapali Beach, this AAA Four Diamond Resort provides spacious villa accommodations with Western amenities, such as heavenly bed, whirlpool tubs, and a fully equipped kitchen. The resort also offers a full-service spa, three restaurants and bars, outdoor pools, and much more. Your prize is valued at approximately ten thousand four hundred dollars. I still have googly eyes, and wow. you don't. Hey, congratulations, Susan! Thank you very Ooh. much. We're so happy you won that. I was trying to think, how can we cheat this for her? But then Gelman always, <laughs> yeah. Gelman always well, gives that. Hey, it's our thirty-fourth uh, wedding anniversary on leap year, which doesn't exist. So oh. that yeah. would be wonderful. On leap year. Yeah. Wow. So. So how many years? Uh, well, Thirty-four years we'll be married. Thirty-four years. Wow. Yeah. But really, but, like, but how many leap years are have your? Has uh, your there's four years, four years in between each one. <laughs> wow. I'm reminded. Well, if you want more celebrations, I'd go with the leap year calculation. Yeah, that's right. Right. <laughs> You've been married for hundreds of years. Oh. <laughs> Listen, Susan, now you get to help make the day of a lucky member of our studio audience who will receive a $500, oh, $500 in movie tickets from Fandango. How about that? So please pick a number between 1 and 214. Okay, 79. 79. 79. 79. Congratulations. Hey, enjoy your trip. Stay warm. Thank you so much for watching. Okay. Coming up next, J.K. Simmons. Still ahead on live, we continue January with a workout you can do at home. Darren Chris. Coming up next, J.K. Simmons. Welcome back. Thank you, thank you. You know, it's so funny. You are somebody that to me is so easily and immediately recognizable. So everywhere you go, I'm not going to bore you with the do people recognize you everywhere you go, but do people treat you differently since you've won the Academy Award? Is there like any perks to it, any benefits? Well, not at home. Right. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, well. Sure. Every once in a while, I, I was I was crossing paths with a guy like the, doing that that 
door to the men's room dance yeah. a couple days ago. And, yeah. and I was like, oh, no, after you. And he goes, oh, no, 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 Academy Award winners first. Oh, <laughs> that's thought, cool. Yeah, I guess. I don't know. Is that, I mean, you've been in the business for a long time and done a lot of incredible work. Is it strange for you to have that happen now? Yes. Is it? <laughs> yeah, but I mean, I'm really, really glad it happened now because if it had happened when I was, you know, 26 years old, Kid, I don't you know. You, really? Could you have handled it, do you Probably think? not. No. 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 Right. That's so interesting to think about. I couldn't have handled the work when yeah. I was 26 years old. Right. I mean, I wasn't ready for, you know, I was, I was schlepping around doing theater in front of dozens of people when I was 26. <laughs> <laughs> I, what, what is this story about you going to New Orleans and being kinged? You're going to become the king, we're told. Apparently, I am the king, the 50th king of Bacchus. Oh, that's, oh, that's incredible. Yeah. That's a huge shift. Do you know about, do you know well, about this? I, I'm learning about this. Oh. I, I mean, they, they, they asked me to do it, and, and I, you know, I bounced it off my wife, and she was like, yeah. Great, JK, it is and, so much fun, but you have to have your beads ready. I mean... You have yeah, well, to have yeah, and them you're ready. Well, and your doubloons. Yes, and re you have, but you have to have it ready because people want it when they want it. Okay, all right. <laughs> and okay. if, it's a lot of pressure. And if you're not ready, they will throw their beads at you. And, Ow! And do you Just speak from experience? I, I, I do, I do. People I, toss I was beads on at a, you. I was on a float once, and it's really fun. It's yeah. really fun. What, what do you do to prepare for it? I, 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 nothing. I don't know. I mean, do I have to learn to speak Greek? I don't know. <laughs> will I, your I family be on up, the float with Yeah, my you? family will come. Well, apparently the float is dudes only. Yeah, right. It's very sort of old school. I was like, wow, really? Um, but yeah, men, so, so my wife and daughter will be somewhere along the route, you know. <laughs> Waving as we go by. Oh, it's so fun! I'm actually jealous because it's real. It's you can come. You were time. just there. Yeah. Well, I guess it was a few months ago. Now, yeah, but you I were was just there, there a few months ago. About. Yeah, it's so it's just so fun. And you and your wife are preparing for empty nest syndrome. Well, kind of. Huh. <laughs> now we're we're a, a year and a half away from that. I think our son is taking a gap year right now, and our daughter's a junior in high school. So. Oh, that is so smart. The gap year. It's really a way to extend. The childhood. Uh, yeah, Is exactly. It? Yeah, yeah. And mom, <laughs> she started talking him into that like like four years ago, like when he started high school. No You kidding. can stay home for another year, yeah. you know, if you want. And so what is he doing with his gap year? Uh, playing video games. <laughs> no, a lot of research. In uh, much research. Yeah. Uh, no, he's going. He's doing a part-time uh, music school thing. He's a, he's a musical guy, very talented oh, wow. kid. So he's going to be uh, uh, coming to New York, actually, to study music next fall. Oh, very cool. Yeah. That's How great. would you respond to the gap year if your kids wanted that? Um, I, I said their whole life was a gap year. Now it's time to go to college. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll be right back after this. Stay with us. J.K. Simmons, more after the break. That was from Counterpart. Explain to everybody what we just saw. Well, clearly it was a mistake because <laughs> it looked like I was... Looking at yourself. Twice in the yes. same scene. Yeah. Um, that was the moment when I was reading the script, which I always do without letting anybody tell me about it, where, where I literally jumped in my chair, was like, oh, my God, there's like, how are, how are there two of this Did guy? you go back and reread it and go, wait, I, uh, I misread that? I don't think so. Oh. I just jumped and yeah. kept going yeah. because because I was fascinated to find out what happens next. But it's 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 a it's a spy thriller with a little kind of a sci-fi wrinkle thrown in. Well, in that wrinkle that we just got a glimpse of seems challenging or could be challenging to pull off, right? Uh, yeah, yeah. Technically, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's we saw two of you in that scene. Yes, so that's, that yes. seems like that. Would well, be that was work. I just astral project myself <laughs> yeah. across the table and. It takes a lot of focus, but, you know, that's why they hired me for it. <laughs> it's got to be the coolest thing, though, to play two different versions of the it's same character. That's pretty great, character. and really one of my favorite actors to work with ever. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, the Oscar and now the casting. Yeah. It's worked out. <laughs> Counterpart premieres on Sunday, January 21st. <laughs> He is a triple threat. He acts, sings, and dances, but his latest role is a lot less gleeful, playing the serial killer who murdered Versace. Please welcome Darren Chris. <laughs> How 
was breakfast. <laughs> breakfast was delicious. <laughs> I, felt, I felt like an intern. How were your, for that how were your four grapes and your piece of pineapple? It was, it was the best four grapes and pineapple. Oh, good. I'm glad. Fruit combo of my life. Thank now, you. you split your time between New York and L.A. Yeah, Is it's that pretty right? even. I'm, so, I'm yes. sort of riding the line that uh, Ryan yeah. has sort of been doing for yes. a years, too. Yeah, so. yeah, oh. yeah. Yeah, it's been A little bit nice. of both. But you, you I, I don't do this. You'll actually go out to the piano bars and perform here in New York City Kelly, on occasion, no, right? that's the reaction my that if you're a true favorite. piano oh, bar fanatic, that's, some, that's the exact visual that, that What's my your brain... Do you have a favorite, like Marie's Crisis? Yeah, like the go-tos, yeah. yeah. I yeah. feel like the people who know the places, that you know who you are in, yeah. in, around the world. Um, yeah, I'm a, I'm a frequent uh, patron of those institutions. And I hear this right, you took Edgar Ramirez recently? Oh, yeah. If I'm in any cast in any situation in New York, and they're like, what should we do tonight? I'm like, okay, I, I have a list. Let's let's start at these places. And, so and I, how was he? How'd he do? He was great. Uh, I didn't know that he was such a Jewel fan. I got him to sing <laughs> uh, You're Jewel's uh, seminal Foolish Games. I have a whole wow. video of him and my girlfriend singing uh, Jewel at the top of their lungs. That's it's major. That's an anthem. Super major, and can yeah. he And can he sing? <laughs> Yeah, of course. He sang in a movie with uh, Jennifer Lawrence. He sang something stupid in Joy, I believe. So he's oh, got uh, yeah, okay. he's got some chops. Now you were out at the Golden Globes not too long ago presenting. Was. How was that? That was amazing, man. Yeah. You know, I'm such an awards show junkie that I always, you know, to be up there is, is a pretty extraordinary thing. I had a cool moment where. You know, I just basically get to be the plus one of all these amazing movie stars because our cast is, you know, Ricky Martin and right. Penelope Cruz and Edgar Ramirez. And so there was a moment when they take you from your table to go backstage. And so I'm going up there and Penelope had to, to go with me. And so, you know, she has these big heels on. She's yeah. like, Darren, can I, can I hold on to you? And I'm just thinking, yes, forever. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> However long you want. I'm not moving a <laughs> muscle. Um, so uh, that, that kind of stuff gets to happen at the gloves. Did you get yeah, starstruck? Like, when you walked out and you saw Oprah sitting there, did oh you go, God. like, because I... Your head spins off. Everywhere you go, it's it was, just the most glamorous people in the world. It was so funny to watch all the movie stars come out and go, Oprah? Oprah. Yeah, they yeah, all yeah. said, hello, Oprah. There's movie stars, and then there's, and then there's Oprah. Right, right. Yeah, it's, it was cool to me because, y y you know, you see it on TV and you see them in person, it's just, it just blows your mind. Going backstage, it, the literal curtain was lifted because you go back there and all of a sudden the glamour just immediately disappeared because I was thinking, oh, this will still be nice. Everyone's, all the, all the movie stars are backstage. I went into the bathroom backstage because it was easier to go to than the one that everybody was using out in the thing. Yeah. And it was gross. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, Disgusting. stars, they're just like us. Great. Disgusting. Nice juxtaposition of uh, high There's something yeah. comforting to knowing that. Yeah, yeah, it was bizarrely comforting, right? except for the mess, you know, but whatever. Did you go out afterwards to any of the after parties? Of course, yeah. I mean, uh, gosh, it... It's really a, uh, an amazing thing because you, there's so many people there that you admire and you want to speak to, and it's a tough thing when you do get to bend someone's ear that, that, that you like. You look around, you go, oh my God, there's somebody else. And so you don't really know how to like, leave a situation that would have been a dream to be in in the first place. And I'm, to, I'm just abusing my Penelope Cruz stories. I'm just, I'm riding that wave as long as I can. Yeah. Uh, there was a point where I was with Penelope Cruz, just me and her, and I'm talking to her about whatever, just catching up, and I remember saying, okay, well, see you later, and then at leaving, going, did I just leave Penelope Cruz? You, <laughs> like, what is wrong with you me? You blew I, her off. Did I just blow her off? Like, <laughs> those are my wildest dreams, but I thought that would happen. Um, it's, a good si it's a good sign. It's a good sign. It's a good sign, exactly. Good sign. It's a good yeah. sign. Right. I gotta play hard to get. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. Keep them guessing. Yeah. We'll come back with Darren. We gotta talk about this new series right after the break. Very intense scene. Stay with us. Back with Darren Chris, uh, who is starring in the assassination of Johnny Versace, American Crime Story. Um, so this, you're playing Andrew Cunanan, the infamous Andrew Cunanan who uh, killed Versace. He, that was his, his last, uh, his again, last most, most famous uh, penultimate murder, but he, he did... Yes. Uh, he, he killed five people, and uh, this, this show sort of explores everything that led up to the assassination of Johnny Versace, but we also uh, do, um, do a, a bit of justice to the, some of the, the, the stories of the, the men that he killed, that stories have kind of been in the shadows up until mm -hmm. now, so it's a huge breadth of uh, material. So it's interesting, you know, in watching it, you realize he was fame-obsessed, right. this guy. Sure. And now the irony of a series being made. Oh, yeah, he's now, at the he would, not a, he, I think he would have loved this, but I also like to think that if he was around now, obviously he had an extreme obsession with fame. But you know, there's that that obsession and ambition 
is manifested throughout all kinds of other ways today with people's obsession with social media right. and being you know, on YouTube or whatever. And those are much more healthier uh, you know, uh, ways to, um, to live out that it's a fascinating that way to think about but it. But I'd like to think that if he were around now, hopefully he would have channeled his, his desires into something like that as opposed to you know, what he ultimately did. Huh. Yeah, yeah it's, it's, there's, there's a lot there's, to unpack on here. a lot of intensity, obviously, in these scenes. Do you stay in... I mean, I talk, I talk about your eyes, the character's <laughs> eyes. Do you stay in those eyes? Do you stay in that character? So I was going to tell you during the commercial break, I mean, it's... Uh when, when you're shooting these things, it, when you're in the scenes, you're surrounded by people like we are here now, uh, and it's quiet. They're not playing eerie music and snap right. cutting to different things. So uh, I think the intensity might be augmented by the final product, which is a good thing, such as the nature of, of a good, exciting, dramatic show. But uh, on set, you're kind of, you're just living in much more simpler places. You're not living in like, I'm going to freak people out. You're living in pain wow. and hurt and desire and fear and all the things that are actually much more accessible to all of us than, than, than not. So uh, that's kind of where you're living. But most of the time I just, I, I don't take it too seriously because if you live in that headspace, you're gonna just, you're gonna go crazy. So uh, I was kind of a stinker on set. I'm like a big practical joker, kind of to keep morale up because if you're gonna be doing these dark scenes it's all day, you have right. to crack yeah. some jokes so you can, there's a levity that is almost a necessary escape, so. I kind of love the way also Ryan Murphy is so good at putting his ensembles together. Yeah, it's like a and, red theater company. And he said he was like not going to make this miniseries without you being in it. Lucky me. Um, yeah. but, uh, but on the other hand, I was like, look, man, uh, I don't know if you have anybody else in your roster that is the same age range, kind of looks like the guy <laughs> and is half Filipino. So good luck if you want to make it with somebody else. Uh, <laughs> but I'm right here. Well, it is, uh, it's very compelling. The assassination of Gianni Versace, American crime story <laughs> premieres on FX tonight at 10 p.m. You know what it is? It's January, and right now you can do this at home, join the workout. All you need are a few ordinary household items. Here to show us how to uh, do all of it is certified trainer and executive editor of Good Housekeeping, Megan Murphy. Good morning. Megan, you are a certified trainer? Yeah. I mean, did I, I know just, that? I don't know, but I am. But you are. Ten, 12 years? That's what? amazing. Oh, thank you. Okay, all right, okay. So what do we get to do with plates? So we can tone at home with just a few simple things. So at home, you need your paper plates, you need a dish uh -huh. towel, a sturdy chair, grab one from the kitchen or the dining room, a pillow or a cushion from the couch, weights if you have them. If you don't have them, maybe some heavy laundry detergent yeah, yeah. or some big bottles of water, water right. um, and socks, that's all you need. And socks. Okay. So okay. first so up, we're gonna take it to the bridge, to the right. booty bridge. So grab your paper plates, Okay. we're gonna lie on the ground, Okay. and Ryan already tested this one out. I, you're gonna put I, the- I did rehearse this earlier. Yeah. Okay. You're gonna put the plates on your heels like okay. this, lie face down. Off. Now Ooh. put your tush in the air like you just don't care. Okay. And squeeze that. Yep. So we're gonna be working our butt and our hamstrings yeah. by sliding our legs forward and then bringing them yeah, back. It's good. Sliding our legs forward and bringing them back. I feel it in the hamstring. You want to look good coming and going, right? So this is yeah. really working that tush. Yep. And all you need are your paper plates. All so right. at home, if you're on a rug, keep the paper plates. If you're on a hardwood floor, we're going to grab our dish towel. You know what's great? If you just stay laying down, everything exactly. improves. Exactly. Get the, like everything just it may be the all to your falls head. backwards. <laughs> but you're not burning any the calories. The jowls are back here. Anything. It's all everything has fallen back. Yeah, just show us what we'll watch. Yeah. Okay, okay, so now we're gonna towel off. So forget sit-ups and crunches. Yeah. The best way to tone your abs is with stabilizing moves. So we're gonna take the dish towel, put it under our toes, okay. and then come out into oh. plank position. So okay. raised push-up position. Position. Hold everything nice and tight, mm -hmm. and then we're going to draw our knees to our opposite elbow just oh, this like this. Good. Yeah, that's good. No, and then straighten them back out. Then draw your knees to your elbow. We're polishing the floors at the yeah. same right. time. At my place, yeah. I would yeah. use we're this in dish towel for my dishes. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. that, exactly. Because that's good housekeeping, right? Yeah, well, Draw your knees to your And then, uh, Kelly, if you want to get fancy, because I know you're so fit, you can also pike it up. Well, it's cute. It's it's draw me. Well, okay. Good too. All right. So now, awesome job, guys. We're gonna take it. That's good. We're gonna take a seat. Everybody, I need you up. Audience Everybody members, up. I need you out of your seats. Feet. Okay. 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 So stand in front of your chair. Now sit back down. Okay. Everybody up. Everybody up. And sit back down. We're doing squats, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, looking good. And we're toning our butt and our thighs. Good job. You don't have enough room for
for this next move. Makes but, you look at church a whole right. new way, right? Like, oh. <laughs> so. <laughs> <laughs> arm flab. <laughs> Anybody at home have a problem with arm flab? You're, you wave goodbye, your arm waves hello, not fun. You know so, how you can fix that? Just wave like this. <laughs> Keep it tight. Okay, so if you wanna wear a tank top and actually wave, here's a good move for you at home. So you're gonna sit at the edge of the chair, okay. hands on the seat, mm -hmm. just tricep dips, up and down, up and down, freestyle, what, what, if you're very fit like these two, legs straight out, and is it best to do this as a circuit where you do... You can do all these in a circuit, absolutely. We're also going to use a chair like a ballet bar. Oh, yeah. What? We are? Yeah. Yes, we are. So this area here, I call it the fast, where your thigh meets your... Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Tough to tone. So you're going to turn your leg out like this, and just little side pulses with grace. Can I see ballet hands? What? What? <laughs> do, 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 do. All right. You look pretty. You got that one? Yeah. So here's a whole... <laughs> do, 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 do. Switch sides. That's my uh, plie. What, what, what? I like these leggings. So Aren't they cute? Oh, my goodness. Nice. Take your shoes off. Okay. Right. Oh, shoes off. Right. Now I'm going to give you a pillow. So at home, you need to grab a couch cushion, something from the bed, anything. But we're going to grab a pillow. This is like a DIY boast. Oh, you have Ryan's uh -huh. pillow from his dressing room, I <laughs> see. I'm going to dress him. So the idea here is, and I've got some weights. Ryan, I hope these aren't too heavy. Just <laughs> we just want one for some. <laughs> Give me that. And we're going to use this for a little bit of a, a balance challenge so that we're working in some sneaky abs while we're doing our toning moves. Okay. Ah, so you stand great. right on there at home, mm -hmm. and we'll just do a little arm circuit. So raise your weights forward, working our shoulders. I'm going to step ahead of you okay. so I don't hit you. Side raise, <laughs> overhead press, okay. but it's just adding that little bit of a balance challenge. Now, if you're fit like these guys, you can also balance on one leg. What, what, what? karate kick, what, 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 what? <laughs> okay, do we have time for one more? Yeah, let's yeah. do right, one more. Socks, 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 socks. Socks. I'm exhausted after these weights, though, but <laughs> we'll try All one. All right, let's clear. Okay. Okay, okay, socks on. Here we're going to channel Tom Cruise in Risky Business. I need a line. I need a line. Ready? Ready, a line? Ready? Watch this. Here, line up with me right here. Oh, oh, line. This is what we're going to do. Yeah. All right, I was thinking we were doing Top Gun. I was so excited. Like, it's like I'm the like, equivalent of a treadmill sprint. Okay. Woo! Oh, watch your way. And you just slide. So it's a little cardio burst. <laughs> Just like that. Woo! So you're getting your heart rate up. You're burning calories. I got it. Woo! Yes! Woo! Be sure to pick up a copy of Good Housekeeping Never Now. All this is on our website, KellyLoan.com. For more of January, log on to our website at kellyandryan.com. We've received some catastic entries oh, so yeah. far yeah. in Live's Check Me Out video <laughs> content. So these are entries, not necessarily finalists. Here is one from Nicole Chester. It's her singing Bengal Bear from the Bronx, New York. Take a look. Bear, boom, boom, boom. Let me hear you say way -o. <laughs> <laughs> Right on cue. Take it to Hollywood for you, Bear. Uh, that was adorable. From Meridian, Mississippi, uh, Kara De uh, Devil Bliss Cat, Mata has an unlikely friend. <laughs> Mata, you gonna stay there all night? Aww. Huh? He's Look, he's going to sleep. Aww. Mata, you can't just hang out on the donkey's back and sleep. <laughs> just, literally, Mata's like, I sure as heck can. <laughs> This is uh, sent by Randy. Lil Whip from Plymouth, Minnesota is not a morning person. Person. What about my money needs to get up for work? I have to get up and take a shower. I know I love you, but I can't sit anymore. We can relate on a, on a Saturday. I am that, that cat. That cat is all of us, OK? <laughs> Think your furry friend is the cat's meow? Oh, it's there's so many puns. There's still time to enter lives. Uh, check me out contest. Enter uh, kellyandryan.com or visit our Facebook.